weeks. Coastal solo into the water. And uh, she'll be going up against Yannick van der Molen. Oh, looking out at the water now, those swells that are coming in, they're kind of coming diagonally here now. So this is going to be fun, especially towards the end, because that's what we saw caught uh, Yannicka there in the last round. She just got caught and pushed okay, towards yeah. that kind of exclusion zone on the way in to the beach. So this is going to be very, very tricky all the way around this course. Well, let's see what these athletes do to read those waves. They might have been researching, studying before they head out for this B final to look at what those diagonal swells are doing. Van der Molen, a little bit uh, of uh, handiwork there with the blades to get them into either hand. Twig managing to get away safely here. Yeah, definitely a quicker start there by Emma Twig. Yannicka just didn't look too comfortable there on those first few strokes. I think maybe it took an extra second to get her feet settled and then blades, one of them just getting slightly caught up. She's getting hit by a nice wave now. Emma just starting to pull away slightly, but we did see Emma was quite unsettled there with some of her strokes in the last few rounds. Uh, look, you know, just a bit wobbledy here now and everyone is you know so just because she has a lead now does not mean anything <laughs> yeah and i think in terms of reading the coastal conditions van der molen certainly has the uh, the history and experience she does the long distance championships mm. every year as well which i think gives you that sense of perspective on what the conditions are doing further out to Sini. absolutely yeah she was uh, joined there by karen roberts last weekend they got a silver medal they're well used to winning gold in both the women's double and the quad women's quad at the endurance events but she was knocked off to silver position by the Lopnik sisters who won that last uh, weekend. Yes, indeed. And uh, well, we've seen that's translated here to the Beach Sprint final speed yes. with Lopnik in the final. But uh, around the turn we go, Twig gets pushed wide once again uh, off and diagonally pointing back out towards that exclusion zone. Oh, it's just such a familiar trap that we've seen time and time again here today. Is she going to be able to correct that now in these next 10 strokes or so? Van der Molen basically rode to a standstill there. She did, but her line is much, much better, much straighter in it to the beach. And this is key because she knows she was thrown sideways in the last couple of rounds and she doesn't want to come in. So she's doing similar to what we saw Claire Jemison. So maybe you were onto something there that they're coming in. They're being told by their coaches to angle in to the opposite side of their marker boys to what we would usually see here. Now, Emma getting up on top of a wave here now surging in to the lead here now opening up even a bigger lead than she had over uh, Yannicka there the last few strokes but Yannicka there's a wave coming right behind her stern here now yeah she's just been slowing down I've been watching her just slowing that stroke rate down slowing the pressure down so that she can catch this wave and here it goes this is going to catapult her in towards the beach here the Dutch woman can twig handle this dismount here because depending on how quickly these waves come she could see herself crashing back in towards the bank yeah she's getting stuck up on that wave getting thrown sideways Yannicka is stuck as well in a wave Emma Twig perfectly her boat just did that for her magically Yannicka is flying in on a wave now but Emma Twig is in she is on her sprint Yannicka just struggling there the bow getting caught in the sand but here to claim the bronze medal Emma Twig brilliant stuff from Emma Twig and as you say almost delivering her out onto the beach perfectly just tilting her slideways uh, and rolling her out onto uh, the shore but uh, that will give her a bronze medal here at Genoa 2024. Yannicka van der Molen will go home empty-handed which is just dramatic considering uh, she was atop the podium last year um, I can't believe that she's going home with nothing here the Dutch woman in uh, 2024 but uh, that is the way that this sport is going it's variable from course to course country to country year on year changing every single time but